Hi everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can manage the graphics performance for an app on Windows 10. We're going to do this with a built-in feature on Windows 10. Open the settings up and go to the system group of settings. Select the display tab and then scroll down until you find graphics settings. And you're going to get this screen. Open this drop down here and select which type of app you want to set the graphics preference for. Can be a classic app and these are the desktop apps like vlc player or chrome and then there's the universal app type this is the netflix app or the minecraft app after that click this browse button and then look for the app that you want to manage graphic performance for i'm going to go with vlc player here so i have to select the exe of the file and once it shows up click this options button here and you're going to get this um, pop-up that lets you choose which graphics card to use when you're running the app. Now by default, the system default is selected. This means that your system decides which is the best graphics card to use with the app. Now what you can do is you can change it to power saving. And up here it tells you that if you set it to power saving, which um, graphics card is going to be used. And you can set it to high performance. And again up here you can see which um, graphics card is going to be used if you set it to high performance. So I'm going to set it to high performance and I'm going to click save. And let's launch VLC player and see what happens. Now I'm not playing anything in VLC player, but I'm going to open the task manager and look for VLC player here. Here it is. And you can see that it's not using the GPU engine right now because I guess nothing's playing. I'm going to open something then. Alright, so now we've got a video playing in VLC player. And still nothing. It's not using. Okay, there we go. It started playing and a bit of the graphics card spiked just for a second. So you can change this whenever you want and make sure you balance it out so that all the apps on your system aren't just using your GPU and ignoring the onboard graphics card. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later with more tech tips.